So we're here at Carl's Custom Concepts and the Lamborghini LP560 conversion is finally complete. This is, of course, the stock bumper. Let's check it out. So this I got from RSC Tuning. It's got this awesome carbon fiber piece. Um, unlike the actual OEM one, that's not carbon fiber. Now, this isn't a direct fit. You can't buy an LP560 bumper from Lamborghini and put it onto this car because of the shape difference. But they did a lot of research, and as you can see, look how good the panel gap is. I mean, it flows perfectly. It's the exact same uh, all the way around as it was with the original bumper. Obviously, this is not the color it's gonna be when it's done. We're gonna reveal the color uh, in the coming weeks when that's finished. But really excited about how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think, whether you prefer the old one or the new one, but I think it makes it so much more aggressive. Let's go talk to uh, the person who got this all done and ask him what it was like. All right, Carl, so you were the man behind uh, the job. What did uh, what'd you have to do? How long did it take? And Well, the first thing we did when we brought the car in is we put it up on a bay lift to get it up off the ground so we can get underneath the car. Uh, you've got about 25 retainers on the bottom that hold the lower valance on and hold all the skirting on underneath the uh, car. It's the first thing to do. Then you've got to remove the wheel skirts, the front wheel skirts to get to the inside bolts. Headlights had to come out of the car. Um, unfortunately, a little bit longer than we thought it would take. Just the removal of the front bumper probably took us roughly about three and a half hours. Uh, and, and then the fitment, uh, unfortunately, wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't bad, and I've seen much, much worse in a lot of a lot of the stuff we do. Um, so we originally fit the, the new bumper back on the car, started adjusting brackets, um, some of the holes, the mounting locations had to be adjusted, elongate a couple of holes, move a couple of holes. Um, the total job, we probably had about ten and a half hours, probably, total job. Nice. Well, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I mean, I've seen some hideous jobs. I don't even know how because you showed me what it looked like with no work done to it and it wasn't great but it was still I wouldn't say livable but I've seen some that are so bad I don't I don't know what the heck they were doing. Yeah you know and unfortunately the, the biggest thing in my business is taking pride in your work uh, and it's attention to detail. It's, it's a lot Definitely. of attention to detail you know and, and I would rather spend the extra few hours to make it perfect than, uh, than leave a gap or Miss yep. adjustment. As a matter of fact, even after I, I, I sent you the pictures and showed you the, the stuff that we did do, we made a last minute adjustment this morning when we put it back on the ground. I wasn't happy with the, the hood adjustment height, so we moved the hood around a little bit to, to match the front bumper perfect. So. Awesome. This is what happens when a piston rated to 1100 horsepower faces 1500 horsepower. <laughs> this was a spare piston mm -hmm. for the old motor. And that's the new piston for the new motor. You can see the difference. We gained a lot of compression with this piston. We gained about a point and a half of compression. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you can see where the rod actually just swung yeah. right into it and just bit that and then. Awesome. Well, thank so, you so much. I really appreciate you. it. Appreciate the business. I'm sure. Uh, We'll be back with another project eventually. Sounds good. Looking forward to it. All right. Thank you. Thank you.